hey there, everybody. I hope you guys have had a great week. This week, Miss Polly and I will be sending you two different videos. This will be the first one where we will explain how to thin your plants. Followed by this one will be the video about how to build your trellises or supports for your plants that are gonna require them. This will lead us into next week where we will start to explain how you'll harden off your plants before you put them outside so that they have the greatest chance for success. Now, if your plants are outside, please make sure that you've still been covering them at night. We still have a couple more nights where the temperature is gonna get below freezing. And if they're inside, you're probably in the best position right now because of how cold our nights have been. Make sure your inside plants are close to a light source and that you're watering them enough without overwatering them and you should be good to go. Remember also that on Friday, your progress report grades are coming out. Make sure you catch up on all of your work so that you are able to do great this progress report with Miss Polly and I. So now we're gonna transfer over to Miss Polly and see how we thin our plants. To you, Miss Polly. Thanks, Mrs. Khan. All right, so we're at the part of the video where we're gonna learn how to thin our seeds. But first we have to look at what plants are ready to thin and what plants are not ready to thin. So here in our garden, we have some of our lettuce seeds that we started. Yours may look similar to this. If you have a giant clump of them that look like this, it's okay to pull a few out. So there's only a couple remaining, or you can use some scissors for this. We don't wanna to pull too many of them out though, just leave about five or six left because they're not quite at the stage yet where we want to leave one plant remaining. They're gonna to need to have some more leaves. So now we have just a few of them left in all of these little areas so they look a lot closer to what our spinach do. These ones, there's about three or four plants per area. We can leave those ones. And these ones are ready to thin. So these are my herbs that I started a while ago and they're at the stage where we can start thinning because they have their cotyledons and also some true leaves. So the cotyledons are those first leaves that come up when the plant emerges and then their true leaves are the ones that actually look like the normal leaf you would think. This is parsley. Um, so let's start thinning. I'm going to start over here and this is with my cilantro and I have four plants in here and I want to leave the biggest, most robust looking plant that I have. So this is the one that's going to be strongest and stay up um, and all I'm going to do is trim out everything else. So I'm trimming these two because they're a little thinner, a little more spindly and I'm going to leave this one here because it looks more robust. So I'm going to go ahead and trim everything but that one. Now that makes sure that this one has enough light and enough nutrients from the soil that it can grow. I'm gonna do the same over here. These ones are kind of laying down a little bit, but I can still judge based on how many number of leaves are there. I trim out those two, and I can see a lot more new growth coming there. And I'm gonna leave that stem. And I'm gonna to continue to do that for all of them. This oregano here looks a lot like some of your spinach. And so I do wanna thin that real quick. All I have to do is find the one that I wanna keep I think that one looks pretty good. Move everything else off to the side and I can pull them or trimming them is the best bet because then you don't disrupt the roots. So trim all of those out of there until all you're left with is the biggest, strongest looking plant. And that's again, when I have two sets of true leaves up on my seat. Have a great day, you do.